Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to the wonderful 101 walkthrough extras. This time we're looking at the wonderful files and the wonderful figures. Um, once again, you guys read, um, pause and read as, as, as you wish. Um, I'm going to spend this time kind of just, just blabbering on again really, because that's always quite fun. Now, the information that you find in the wonderful files for, I think it's pretty much every character, is identical to the information that you will find in the character files. Some characters like P-Star here do not turn up in the character files, however, so uh, there is some unique information in here, um, especially when it gets onto the stuff about like the Sentinels and so on and so forth. Also, calling P Star P Star is very, very clever and a bit unsubtle. Um, because his name is basically the Platinum Games logo, because it it's a P and then a star. Ah, uh, subtle guys, so subtle. But also, another interesting fact about uh. Good old P Star, and that he was made from a scrapped video game console. Um, I, I have no idea what console that would be. Although I have the uh, distinct feeling there is an element to the Wii U gamepad about him. Um, it's mostly the screen that is, is doing it for me. Um, but yeah. Now, when it, when it comes to Blue, um, he's very much the Dante of uh, the game. Like, he really fits that personality type. And then he's got the trench coat as well, and the white hair. <clears throat> Has to be white. <clears throat> but that, it's, it's why, you know, Dante was so, uh, so disliked. And to be perfectly honest, still is, from what I can gather. Now, the story you find out about Luca here is kind of very interesting. Um, in the kind of, he's get he's very impassioned, even though he lost his parents, which is quite an amazing thing. I mean, he's he's. Certainly went a bit cuckoo, but still. Also, there's the Professor Margarita Redgrave. Hideki Kamiya literally could not not include the name Redgrave somewhere in this game, especially when he's already referencing Luca. Because Luca's father in Bayonetta, I believe, was Antonia Redgrave, so... There's another Luca whose parent parent surname was Redgrave, which it's, it's quite clever. But when it comes to Nelson, literally you cannot see his eyes. Um, like there is only that one moment right at the end of the game where he says uh, they'll knock us into the next star system with this power that you see an eye. Um, but all of the time it's always covered up, and I think that might be the same even when he's in, um, when he's Wonder Red and Mauritius. Also, the really awesome thing about Nelson and Alice is that they both love tea. You you kind of figured that from Nelson because obviously he's generally always drinking a cup of tea. But Alice likes tea as well, and she is actually trying to show emotions. She's just very unsuccessful at it, which is is rather amusing because she's voiced by Laura Bailey who. Is most well known for voicing very energetic characters. 
and ah, Green. Everyone's favourite Frenchman. Getting stuffed with so many insults, it's rather amusing. Like, I, I have to say, I'm surprised that they didn't repeat any. Because... Yeah. Then I guess that kind of shows that uh, there is a long-standing tradition of uh, mocking the French. I mean, it's certainly the case in Britain. Brit Britain and France have a long relationship of taking the mickey out of each other. Also, there's the reference to Belmont Alloy. Um, also, the fact that Pink is from Transylvania. There's so many um, Castlevania things going on in her character that the references shouldn't go unnoticed if you find these things out. But then she has also got a bit of the bayonetta about her, particularly the uh, sadistic attacks. Like, she's crazy. But then with Wonder Yellow, um, it's only during kind of the final bit of the game where you actually find his, out his hair colour, because it, it means green. It, it's not green, it's brown. There we go. And I, I noticed green's insults and I was just like, ah, green. Um, but no, it's brown, and you don't see that at any point during the game until it starts coming out of his hat, which is rather amusing. And ah, James Shirogane. So fun. So fun. So it's kind of insane that he's been there for all three Earth Defense Wars. All three. Like, that, that's a pretty impressive feat. Um, it's best for you to still be alive considering the amount of destruction that the Geth Jerk cause whenever they turn up. You'd think at this point he, he probably he would have snuffed it, but evidently he's very good at keeping himself safe. And yes, good old proverbs. I'm always a good I'm always a fan of a good proverb. They're always just quite fun. And then we have the wonderful Immortal who Red obviously has a crush on and obviously Immortal has a bit of a crush on Red as well, which is really sweet. But it can kind of never be. Because, you know, alien race and all. Not quite sure how well the relationships would go there. Also, she's very unprincessy. Which is quite awesome because we need more women like that in video gaming. And there we have Wonder Black, the super genius, who makes me feel really, really stupid. <laughs> like he's eleven, and he's done far more than I ever could. Then again, he's a fictional game character, so. Can't feel too sad. <laughs> we can't all be that perfect. Oh, young Will is so adorable. Maybe, maybe a bit snot nosed. Um, but he did it just, just like oh, and it still makes me kind of really happy that he went to Clover Primary School because that's Clover 
Takeover Studios. It's the same logo as well. It's just... Oh, you guys. It makes me very, very, very happy. And now we get into the later wonderful files where the, they start getting quite lengthy. And yeah, I, I never mentioned it, but the incredibly obvious pun in the name Sentinels is Sent is in a hundred and Sentinels is in S E N T I N E L S. Um for kind of protecting. It, it, it's a very cleverly put together pun. And kind of really obvious, but then again. This game likes pulling out its uh, really, really obvious jokes sometimes. Also, I love the wonderful logo. It's awesome, and I actually have a t-shirt that's got a Wonder Pendant on it. Um, it was designed kind of after a t-shirt that Hideki Kamiya wore in the Nintendo Direct. And kind of somebody kind of copied the design and put it up on a website, and yeah, I got it because I I'm not missing out on having the wonderful a wonderful 101 T-shirt. I mean, I'd love a Bayonetta one, but I'm yet to find one that I would you know actually wear. Um, but the wonderful 101 T-shirt's just great. I mean, I probably would have gone for red in colour because I I feel more in tune with Wonder Red's psyche. Um, but because I really don't suit the colour red, I had to go blue. Um, I guess to, at least it means that I can say the impossible's possible when you're wonderful, baby, and uh, still seem quite awesome while saying it. Um, incredibly cheesy, but it, the, the coloration works with the character who says it, so I'm, I'm being witty. Also, it surprises me how long the Sentinel suit's description is. Like, blowing heck, they put real, kind of, depth into how these things work. And, Virgin Victory Full Spectrum Warship Sentinel's Planetary Secret Service. Yep, Th that is a title. That's definitely a title. I don't know whether Virgin Victory is kind of playing a little bit on a board equivalent. Um, because I mean, it kind of means first victory, but then there is the whole sexual element. I'm sure that was probably intentional. So, yep, they're in all corners of the globe, and somehow inside an alien who we didn't know was going to invade us. Although then again, that might have been Shuragane um, inserting it before we um, went into Vorky's body. Um, which would make sense. Ah, good old Platinum Robo. Unidentify, unidentified, unidentified bipedal mobile weapon. So awesome. Especially when it enters Akashic mode. That that thing just stunning. Just the, all the colours. I love the fact that this game is so colourful. I've said it before. So I'll say it again. The the amount of colour in this game is phenomenal. I mean the um engaging unlimited form cutscene in particular is one of the most 
colourful things that I have ever seen in my entire life. Especially in a video game. And that, that, that makes me very happy. Because... <laughs> games have kind of become quite dull in coloration. I mean, it's getting better now. Um, but it's still kind of very muted. And real life isn't that dull. So why make games duller than real life? It, it, that's, that's the thing that confuses me, really. I tried to make it realistic by dump, dulling down the colours and make it too dull. It's bizarre. And we have another stupidly long file. I mean... God damn, Geth Jerk, Federation Suprema Martyr, what a blubbing long file. Probably the longest file in the entire game, actually. I guess it's because of kind of all the history of the Earth Defense Wars and what happened. And once again, Nano Machine's son. But yes, don't worry, we are. Heading towards the end of the Wonderful Files now, there's about 25, I think. And then we get to look at all of the wonderful figures that I've unlocked. Um, I haven't unlocked all of them, obviously. But you're going to get to see the ones that I have done. Also, good on Professor Shirogane for lasting as long as he has to... Uh, develop as much as he has to prevent the Geth Jerk from killing everybody. Like, that makes him quite the man. Because if it weren't for him, Earth would be destroyed. And then obviously Professor Margarita. Very, very, very good lady. Project Stinger. Hmm. Don't quite know whether that has any relation to anything. But I would not be surprised if that was a project name. Just a Platinum game early on. Or a Nintendo console, I'm not sure. De uh, not a Nintendo console, but something Platinum related would make sense. So good old Kakurigas, the extra dimensional guerrilla operations forward base. And I believe this is the last one, the Dakar, the hypergalactic patrol vessel. In all of its awesome glory. And with that, we have finished all of the wonderful files, all of the Geth Joke files, and it's time to look at the wonderful figures. So there are 118 wonderful figures in total. 18, 118, not 180. Um, and you get to look at them here, and it's, it's got kind of the number and the name of the wonderful one. Um, and because I want to show you the figures as close as I can in the name of the wonderful one, I have to go to the gamepad screen, um, which then means I get no music, which is really irritating. So I have replaced it with jigging a planet destruction mode, um, because obviously that thing is wonderful. Now, I'm pretty sure that I've got all of the wonderful figures that you can get in the game normally that are not locked behind Kaku Regars. Um Obviously, I have all the wonderful figures associated with Kaku Regars on normal up to the last one, which I am obviously missing. Now, all of the other wonderful figures that I'm missing right now are from completing Kaku Regars on hard and on 101% mode. 
um, and then also for completing Operation 101. Because, uh, yeah, there are figures for every single one of the wonderful ones. And then some, I think. Because I, I believe that there may be more than secret characters. More figures than there are secret characters. So, pretty much all of them are associated with Kaku Regars that aren't here, that we haven't found. And this is quite cool, I mean, you get a nice close look at the wonderful ones, closer than you get when you look at them in the character files, um, and some of the poses are quite fun. Um, but I will say that it, it is odd because I believe that because figure 24 was glitched, and I believe also Vorkin's figure, which you can unlock, is glitched as well. Um, I believe it, that might still be a problem, I'm not sure. But there was an issue of getting Vulcan's figure coming out of this and then trying to do anything and it just wouldn't load. It's really bizarre, but still. I don't have it, so I can't show you it. So, that's all of the wonderful figures. Um, I believe in the next part we are going to look at the bottle caps and the sound gallery. So, I'll see you then. And we will finish off the extras in the next few parts. Let's do this. <laughs>